We are we are waiting on a GDP report out in about 15 minutes, Secretary Mnuchin, and you've been very clear throughout this entire process. This is about jobs. This is about economic growth. That's your number one goal. How would you characterize things right now? Well, Maria, I think, as you know, there's some short-term impacts as a result of the hurricane. Um, you know, my, my guess is that uh, in the short run, you know, over the next couple of months, that has some impact. Um, but that'll have an, a corresponding positive increase. And I think we're very comfortable where GDP has been earlier this year. Uh, I don't know where the number is this morning. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, I specifically didn't look at it early since I knew I was coming on TV. Are you expecting, have you heard from managers and CEOs across the country that, in fact, with a lower corporate tax rate, with a lower pass-through rate, they will, in fact, turn around, use that savings in tax to put it into their business, invest, and create new jobs? Absolutely. I've met with literally hundreds and hundreds of CEOs from big, medium, small companies. People are so excited about going from a worldwide system to a territorial system to make us competitive, bring back anywhere from 2 to $4 trillion that's offshore, immediate expensing. We're going to see massive, massive capital investment in the United States to build factories here and create jobs. That's what this is about. I know that's a really big deal. That's where the recession has been these last 10 years, companies sitting on cash, unwilling to put it to work. So we'll be watching that on, on capital expenditures. Let me Switch gears, Secretary Mnuchin, ask you about North Korea. The Trump administration announced another round of economic sanctions against North Korea this week, blacklisting banks and individuals in several countries. Why do you believe tightening the economic screws on Pyongyang is so important? And you've been working on this, putting a lot of time into this. Is this going to impact the U.S. economy? I mean, if you put sanctions on, for example, Chinese banks, doesn't that impact the U.S.? Maria, let me be very clear on this. The president's number one objective is national security. And we will do everything within our power to protect the American people and our allies. I was at the U.N. with the president last week. He made it very clear the existing behavior in North Korea is unacceptable. He signed an executive order that gave me the strongest powers that the Treasury Department has ever had. We're going to be able to sanction financial institutions anywhere in the world that facilitate any significant trade or other business with North Korea. This is going to be forward-looking. It's not backwards-looking. We're going to be monitoring this activity, but we've made it perfectly clear to people around the world that they should shut down economic activity with North Korea until they're willing to denuclearize the peninsula and come to the table on those terms. All right. We will leave it there. Secretary Mnuchin, good to see you, sir. Thanks so much.